सिंपल पेंडुलम ये सिंपल पेंडुलम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए स्ट्रिंग एंड ए नोड ये सिंपल पेंडुलम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए स्ट्रिंग एंड ए नोड नाउ दिस सिंपल पेंडुलम इज एट रेस्ट पोजीशन सी नाउ आई जस्ट ब्रॉड दिस सिंपल पेंडुलम टुवर्ड्स वन साइड एंड आई रिलीज्ड इट नाउ सी इट एक्सिबिट टू एंड फ्रो मोशन दिस टू एंड फ्रो मोशन ऑफ a pendulum is known as oscillation to and fro motion of any object is called oscillation see we have to see how many oscillation takes taking place in a particular time say for example uh, you just switch on your watch or stopwatch and count number of oscillation for a particular period of time and divide the number of uh, divide the time by the number of oscillation you will get the time period that means time period is the time taken to complete one oscillation say for example uh, if 20 oscillation takes place in 42 seconds then you divide 42 divide by 20 you will get the answer that is the time period so what do you mean by time period time taken to complete one oscillation one oscillation means see consider this is the point a it is going from point a to point b and again coming back to point a this is called one oscillation okay one oscillation means see go on come this side okay from here it is moving to that side and again coming back to this side then one oscillation so the time taken to complete one oscillation is called time period what is time period time taken to complete one oscillation see like this number of oscillation occurs okay once the oscillation start see now i am release i'm going to release 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight like that you take the number of oscillation and see the time and divide that time by number of oscillation you will get to time period see how we can calculate time period time period is equal to time taken divided by number of oscillation we have to start the stopwatch once the oscillation begin and we have to stop the stopwatch once the counting is over say for example if our time taken is 42 seconds time taken is 42 second and in 42 second consider that 20 oscillations took place 20 oscillations took place then divide this 42 by 20 you will get 2.1 you will get 2.1 that means this is the time period time taken to complete one oscillation time taken to complete one oscillation is 2.1 second in one second 2.1 oscillation to please so this is called time period time period is the time taken to complete one oscillation and it can be calculated by time take time period is equal to time taken divided by number of oscillations hope you understood this see how we can calculate time period time period is equal to time taken divided by number of oscillation we have to start the stopwatch once the oscillation begin and we have to stop the stopwatch once the counting is over say for example if our time taken is 42 seconds time taken is 42 second and in 42 second consider that 20 oscillations took place 20 oscillations took place then divide this 42 by 20 you will get 2.1 you will get 2.1 that means this is the time period time taken to complete one oscillation time taken to complete one oscillation is 2. 1 second in 1 second 
2.1 oscillation took place. So this is called time period. Time period is the time taken to complete one oscillation and it can be calculated by time, take, time period is equal to time taken divided by number of oscillations. Hope you understood this.